Okay, this last example is going to help us get ready for section seven, six, seven. Um, we may not even use this method in six, seven, but at least we'll be able to see how it would work. Okay, so we have four variables, four equations. So we have A, B, C, and D, and then constants. So A equals one, that would mean one A, so coefficient one, with 0 b, 0 c, 0 d, and constant 1. So coefficient 1 a equals constant 1. That's how we would write that in our matrix. b equals 0, that would be written as a 1 for the coefficient for b, and then a 0 for the constant. 3a plus c would be 3 for a, 1 for c, 5 for the constant, and then the next one would be 0, 3, 0, D, negative 1. Okay, so same rules apply. We've already got a diagonal of 1s. So really all we have to do here is get rid of the 3s, turn them into zeros. The problem is when we do that, we might end up disrupting our diagonal of 1s. So we'll have to deal with that at that point. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 3, and I'm going to add it to this row here. So that would be negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. Oh, it's not going to disrupt it because it's zeros. Negative 3 times 0 plus 0 is 0. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So now to get this to be a 0, I'm going to multiply this by a negative 3 and add it to this row. So let's do that. So negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. And negative 3 times 0 is 0, plus negative 1 is negative 1. Okay, that's all. That's it. So we have, I wrote the wrong number, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And then we have a equals 1, which we already knew, and b equals 0, which we already knew, and c equals 2, and d equals 